Good morning everyone. Thank you for stopping by. I'm going to be talking about two different things while I was on vacation with a friend of mine. We went to a restaurant and I think it was Perkins and there was a waitress we was talking to her a little bit about Jehovah's Witnesses and she said there's a guy that was behind us he um, adopted a young man apparently his uh, parents didn't want to have nothing to do with him anymore and when she told us this young boy was a Jehovah Witness I couldn't believe it so he finally got up before he left we was talking to him and he verified he raised this young boy up because his parents didn't want him anymore we never asked him if this young man uh, was disfellowship or um, whatever he did for his Jehovah Witness parents to basically threw him out of the house we know how Watchtower works we know how evil and corrupt the, the um, elders are how they love to uh, stick their noses in people's family member family and try to break them break these members up so I and my friend we was happy to hear that this was not another Jehovah Witness person would be thrown on the street like some of it has been done now like so I, I don't know the whole story so I don't know if he was thrown on the street and how this guy met this young Jehovah Witness guy I don't know but he put out his heart to help this young man when his parents didn't care anymore so I wanted to make this video on that because we know how evil and corrupt and this cult Jehovah's Witnesses are in we know because we was in it too so people it shows there's good people out there that does help people who want to leave this false religion or even made one one mistake whatever mistake he did if he even made a mistake uh, we went to a place it's called Holy Land in, in um, Orlando it was like something I can describe it's, it's really hard it's like almost like walking into Jerusalem sort of had different buildings uh, they had the, the temple where the curtain was split from top to bottom but they had to play and it was uh, got to do Nebuchadnezzar Daniel and his three companions by the names of Babylonian Meshach, Shadrach and Abednego 
they had a screen that was pretty awesome so that was um, a computer system that it was able to change the screen without putting a lot of you know different things to make it look real so mostly it was just like watching TV but something got to me that um, I want to try to make a video I was going to use the at your film but I don't want to have no problems with Holy Land so I'm gonna do this my way it looked like these three guys who refused to bow down I guess there was a statue of Nebuchadnezzar if my memory serves me right it looked like they uh, the, gu the guards looked like they threw me in a fire and it was it was pretty awesome but it was not real far and it, it looked like they made smoke when when they come came out of that furnace but I started thinking if you take those governing body members and if the governments was going to or someone decided to uh, destroy these eight men for all the evil. Now one of them was in the false religion so I don't know how much control he had or whatever. But I do know the seven people originally we have for a while but either way you look at it he joined the evil seven what happened if someone threw these men in the pit would God send his angel down to pick protect I can't say the word protect the government body members so they would still be th them or w at least one or two will be still standing in this pit of fire no not one of them would be saved God would n not even send an angel down to protect these evil evil men have done more damage in our time than even the ones that around oh gosh <laughs> the one they they use that are uh, the overlap generation Freddie France and you got Nathan Knorr Judge Rockerford, Charles T. Russell. People, we know that Nebuchadnezzar had this pit and he executed probably more people in that fire thing. And normally he doesn't make it harder normal than what it uses but he did make it more harder for these three Hebrews because they challenge Nebuchadnezzar our God will protect us if he chooses not to protect us we will still not bow down to any image they said what was was created for Nebuchadnezzar so people would give loyalty to him we have done our research so much which Jehovah's Witnesses 
are scared, afraid that their God Jehovah is going to tell the elders or tell the government body members that they're doing research. Sorry, but my stomach, I don't know if you hear my stomach growling, but I want to put this video up early this morning. So I didn't have quite have breakfast. So people, for a young man to be kicked out of his own home, it shows you how evil corrupt this false religion is. There is no honor or love or compassion in this false religion. It is being controlled by Satan the devil all the way down to the governed body all the way down to the local elders and even down to the members. Some members, these members would, would cut off their arm if an elder gun body members would make them believe that that arm is pure evil. But hopefully, Jehovah Witnesses would wake up that at that time if something like that would happen. So that's about all I'm going to say. Holy Land was something special. Even they taught the God of the Hebrews in the Old Testament was Christ. Yeshua. We know his name is not Jesus, but I'm not even sure his name is Yeshua. One day we'll find out his name and his father's name. But either way I look at it, even they mention he, he is God, but he's not the father he is the Son, but He is God Almighty, the one who created us, gave us life. Even when He talked to different people in the past, they heard His voice. So, people, it's time to educate yourself to get away from this pure evil of Jehovah Witnesses because time is running out do you want to be destroyed do you want to take a chance not knowing if you are on the wrong side and you are wolves or goats. How do you want to look at it? Do you really want to take that chance? Putting your heart in a religion because you're too lazy or puff up with pride? Don't want to examine what other people have found that made them help them to get out of the false religion of Watchtower and other religions? Do you really want to take the chance? I don't. And that's the reason why I did my studies and what I learned from the outside was the real truth than what I had, what I thought was inside. So people 
don't be the people that who died by the hands of Nebuchadnezzar and he threw them in the pit. God never protected them. Be like Meshach, Shalrat, and Abednego or the the original Hebrew names. Um, I can't remember. Make sure you're on the right side. And they was on the right side of the ones that they was part of the tribes of Israel, of Jacob, all the way back down to Abraham. We need to follow the God, the true God, the one who came to earth and who died for us. Him and his father. We have to have faith. Not these man-made false gods. Even that's what got the Israelites in trouble in the past. They gave up the true God to serve false gods. Jehovah's Witnesses never known the true God. They don't even believe he is Christ who died for us. And the Bible does teach that. So thank you for uh, stopping by and um, hope all y'all enjoy your day and um, I found something interesting I want to YouTube channels of Jehovah Witnesses and um, I'm going to start listen to this maybe once more time or twice it's something crazy with got to do with the government body and um, I will be making that video here soon so thank you very much for watching this video and I hope it will encourage you to do the right thing thank you very much and bye for now.